guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Thank you for being uh, on my channel, you know, for all the support you guys have been sending me, all the messages and emails. I really, really appreciate it. I hope that you guys are not annoyed by the cicadas in the background. They're, you know, they come on and they kind of do their song and dance. They're mating, they dance, and then they, and then they go away. Um, so hopefully it's not too annoying. I live in the jungle, so it's kind of hard to get away from it. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about how some of you have mes messaged me saying, you know, how can I relate so much to all of the stuff that you talk about? You know, how can that be possible? I mean, we're all unique individuals. How can we be so similar in so many different ways, right? Now, it kind of irks us, right, as an INFJ, because we're like, what well, we want to be unique, right? And we also want to be understood. And so you, you guys are happy that you're understood, but you're also annoyed that, you know, I understand you guys are, that we are so similar, right? That, you know, you're like, but I, I thought I was unique, you know, I thought I was different from everyone else. So I want to kind of explain this to you so that you understand that there are two sides to this coin, right? As always, there's always two sides to this, right? Most of these things you guys are going to identify with because obviously there are some similarities between INFJs, but not only INFJs, people in general on this planet we have similarities in us, um, you know, that because we're living in the same time, in the same kind of era, we're going to have similarities between us, right? We're living in this internet age, we're living in this age where, you know, people want to improve themselves, we're living in this age where, uh, we're, we're, you know, we spend very little time with other people, so we're lonely, you know, there's things like that. So we live in this era right now, so we, we live in a similar era. Um, so if I lived in the golden, oh, golden ages, in the, in the Iran, Renaissance, and you lived in the modern era, then we would have very little in common, of course, right? But because we have this kind of era to kind of solidify our commonalities with each other, that's why we're so similar in a lot of different ways, right? So not only with INFJs, but everyone in general. But also, you will find that you know, some things you'll agree with, like, oh my god, yes, that's me, that's exactly me, how did you know, kind of thing, right? So those things are like, that's great. And there's going to be some things, and you guys have messaged me about that as well, where you're like, yeah, you know what, this is a good video, but I didn't actually agree with everything that you said. That's brilliant. That's how it is, you know. Of course, every INFJ is going to be a little different. Of course. I mean, come on. You've had different life experiences. You've lived in a different country, perhaps. Um, you've had different parents. You know, you've had a different upbringing. You've studied different things. You've done different degrees. Uh, you've had different relationships. So, of course, you're going to be a little different from me. So, every INFJ is going to be a little different from every other INFJ. That's normal. That's accepted. That's understandable, right? But, as I said, there's a lot of things that we're going to have common within ourselves, right? Common within the group, within the community. And the reason I mention is because a lot of you guys are like, but but this is not me. I, they'll, you'll watch a video and they'll be like, no, this is not me. This is not how I behave. Does that mean I'm not an INFJ? Well, I don't know, but the reality of it is probably that there's going to be a lot of videos you're not going to agree with, right? Because you are a unique INFJ and you have your own quirks and things. And every one of us has our unique sets of abilities and, and talents and characteristics, right? So uh, you're not going to agree with all of them. And some of them, you're going to be like, well, yeah, that doesn't describe me at all. Some of them, you're going to be like, oh my God, that's me, right? And the, pro the thing with that is that if you agree with nine maybe 80 percent of the videos that i do like 80 80 to 85 percent that's a pretty good chance that you're an infj because so many people message me saying you know i don't agree with this video and i don't agree with that video but i agree with this one does that mean that i'm an infj or does that mean that i'm not an infj and i'm like i mean i can't tell just by your message but if you agree with 80 to 85 percent of the videos that i do if most of them kind of resonate with you that means that you're not an infj and if most of them don't resonate with you, that means you're not, right? But it doesn't mean that you have to resonate with every single one of them. Obviously not, right? I, I'll read a lot of stuff online about INFJs um, because I'm constantly doing research and I'm constantly kind of reading about, about how other people think of us, yeah? Because that's my thing, right? It's my passion and I'm obsessed. I'm an obsessive person. <laughs> So I do a lot of research and I actually notice a lot of stuff online that I don't resonate with at all. I look at it and I'm like, um, I don't think so, right? But that doesn't mean I'm not an INFJ, right? That means that they're an INFJ as well and I'm an INFJ as well, but we're different INFJs, right? We are unique in our own ways. So 
as I said, you don't have to agree with all of it, but 80% of it, if you agree with it, you're probably really good signs pointing to the fact that you are an INFJ, right? So I wanted to do this video because a lot of you send me these confused messages saying, am I, am I, I don't know, I don't know. So instead of torturing yourself with these questions, I don't want you to do that. Don't worry about it, you know? If you agree with most of it, you're probably an INFJ. And so just listen to it and just drive with what it works for you. And you'll listen to it and use it as you want. And if you don't agree with it, don't use it and just skip it. And then go to the next one. All right, I hope this makes sense to you guys. I just really wanted to share this because I was getting so many messages about it. And I was like, okay, I need to do a video about it, okay? So again, I hope this makes sense. If you guys have any questions at all, please message me anytime, anywhere you want, on Facebook, not on Instagram. I don't go on there that often. Um, on my email if you want, on here if you want, wherever, yeah? And I shall see you guys in the next video. I hope the cicadas weren't too annoying to you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.